A positive feedback loop is a loop where the response increases the effect. The response increases the effect. And the classic way I like to think about this is if you imagine you've got a bowl that's put upside down and you've put a ball on top. So the effect of moving the ball over uh, away from the midline of the bowl means that the ball is going to continue to accelerate faster and faster and faster so the response is increasing the effect. So I want to explain to you a couple of positive feedback loops that have the potential of accelerating uh, global warming and climate change. The first one is related to an effect um, called albedo. So albedo is reflection of light off something that's white. So something that's white reflects light and also radiant heat. Now of course we've got ice on the polar caps so the, the North and the South Pole are covered with ice. So that ice actually reflects sunlight and radiant heat away from the Earth. So preventing the, hurt, the Earth from getting as hot. Now the positive feedback loop is we have increased global temperatures meaning that that ice melts. So we have the melting of the polar ice caps and the effect of that is that there's a reduced albedo effect. So in other words there's a reduction in the amount of radiant heat radiating off the earth so more heat is absorbed by the earth and temperatures increase. So it's a positive feedback loop because as the temperatures increase there's more ice melt, there's a reduced albedo, there's increased temperatures and it continues on like this. So I just clarified this, so we've got decreased albedo so that means that there's more radiant heat absorbed by the earth. So the earth gets warmer and it continues on in that cycle positive feedback loop. I'm going to explain another one. This second positive feedback loop is also related to melting ice but this time we're talking about an area that's underneath the North Pole. It's a region called permafrost. It's been frozen for thousands of years. Permafrost. Underneath this frozen region there's grasses that have been dead for those thousands of years that have been covered by the ice. As the temperatures get warmer the permafrost is melting and exposing this dead grass. The grass then gets decomposed by bacteria and other decomposers and it releases carbon dioxide and methane gas into the atmosphere which then increases global temperatures and makes more of the permafrost melt. So let's draw that feedback loop. We start with increased temperatures and that's making the permafrost melt which exposes the dead grasses which then get decomposed. And that decomposition of the dead grass releases greenhouse gases, carbon dioxide and methane released by the decomposers and of course as greenhouse gases they contribute to increasing global temperatures. So again we have a positive feedback loop and um, as I said with positive feedback loops response increases the effect so it accelerates out of control. That's a positive feedback loop that affects global warming.